Hi, I'm here with Rosemary Watkins and um, you're very kindly answering some questions that we've had submitted. So this question comes, how do you let go of hopes and dreams and acknowledge that you will not do these things? So um, for example, cry for craft and a hiking backpack was mentioned. Yes, um, thank you, Sarah. There are many, um, there are different categories of loss and um, they would fit into things like tangible deprivation loss, um, fantasy loss, yeah. um, the sort of, um, this hopes and dreams would fit into more that fantasy loss, which are the sort of things we hope for, dream for, want, uh, but they don't manifest in our lives. And there's, I think, um, tangible loss like death or divorce or something that's more visible to people. People around you can see that and support you in a grieving process, whereas when we have um, a more intangible or fantasy loss, people don't always see the loss and certainly don't um, recognize a grief response to that. Right. So I think there certainly would be a grieving here uh, that would be a process that will happen as a result of that loss of was hiking and uh, yeah. Art, or, yeah, and doing some craft projects that yeah. they've never got to. Yes, absolutely. So that would certainly be something. And as people uh, move into different parts of their life cycle, they can uh, realize that some of these dreams are not going to be fulfilled. And um, you know, it can be something like, I thought I'd be mortgage free by the time I'm 50, or those sorts of things yeah. can be part of that. Or I would have achieved financial security, or I would have achieved uh, to be the CEO, or whatever, of the, in a work situation, or something similar like this with hobbies and, and crafts, etc. So essentially, the loss will need to be grieved. So every loss that we have um, needs to be grieved. And if we see grieving, not as the problem, but the healing yeah. of, of the nature gives us that process as a healing. And if we enter that um, process of healing through mourning the loss, then um, we can become freer, clearer. And then when that process has been completed or somewhere along the, the journey of that process, then it's more than likely that the person would realize the time has come to relinquish um, the items that are attached to the longing for the dream to be fulfilled, such as the, um, was it the backpack or something? Yeah, a hiking backpack. A hiking backpack, yeah. So the items themselves become symbols of the, the loss, but as long as we're holding on to them, um, then we're not actually grieving the loss. And so when, the, but again, no one can decide on that time except the person, in my view anyway. I think it's really important that they come to that in their own place and time and ready to release it. Uh, but it certainly I would encourage a process of grief to um, assist in that. So how do you go through the process of grieving when it's, I know it might yeah. sound like a silly question, but how do you do that when it's something like this? Yeah, it's a, a great question really, because um, as I said, people hardly even recognise that it's a loss, let alone that there will be a grief. So there will always be a loss, sorry, there will always be a grief response to something we lose or have lost uh, if we're attached to it. Right. Without the attachment, we won't grief. Yeah, right, <laughs> yes. So uh, essentially the, the process will happen naturally, but because we don't recognise it's there, we often avoid it or... Um, not really enter it, not, not uh, allow ourselves okay. to feel it. Yeah? Yeah. So people might do things like busy themselves doing other things or watching TV, distractions, avoidance, um, all of that. And if they sit still and be with the inner world, then they recognize there's a lot of feelings associated with the backpack that's sitting in my um, laundry or closet or wherever it yeah. might be. And then if, if that's when they go to that experience of emotional uh, connectedness, that's the, an enter, that allow that to happen. It's really allowing, because in our Western world we do pretty well everything with feelings except feel them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, and if we really sit with that and allow it to happen and feel those feelings and see what is there, yeah. um, then that's what I mean by um, entering the, the process. Right. Yeah. Mm, thank you. It's all there, it's just a matter of getting allowing. in touch with it and allowing it. Yeah. All right, wonderful, lovely. Thank you. Mm -hmm.